Hi everyone, this is Sean for Tracker Software and today we're going to take a look at adding watermarks to documents. Watermarks have many uses, including to protect documents from being used by other parties, indicating ownership of documents in order to discourage counterfeiting, and many others. They can be added in either text or image format. So, how do we use PDF Exchange Editor to add watermarks to documents? We just click the Organize tab, and then we click the Watermarks drop-down menu, and we click Add. The Add Watermark dialog box will open. In this first section, we have the option of using either an image file or custom text to create the watermark. If we add some sample text to the box, something just like Test Watermark, we can see that the preview pane will update to display what the created watermark will be. In this case, just a simple text, test watermark. We can change the font and alignment options as desired using these dialog boxes here. As well as that, we can use macros when creating watermarks. The full list of available macros is detailed in this drop-down menu here. For example, if we want to use the name of the document as a watermark, we can just click the doc title macro. And it will add the name of the document as the watermark. Or if we want to add, for example, the current time, just click the time macro and the current time will be added as the watermark. And all of these macros are documented in the online manual and I'll add a link to that page in the video description. Alternatively to text, we can use an image file to create the watermark. Simply click File in this Type drop-down menu and then we can select whichever file we want to use. So we'll use this one for this example. And if it's a multi-page document that you're using, you can use this page number box to specify the page of the document you want to use as the watermark. And the remaining options for watermarks are the same, regardless of whether you're using text or image to create your watermark. The rotation number box can be used just to specify the rotation of the watermark, and the opacity determines the transparency level that you want to use. Usually watermarks are fairly transparent over documents. And we can use this scale box to specify the size of the water watermark. So if we want to make it a bit smaller, we can go down to, for example, 50. Or we can scale it relative to the target pane, which scales it to the size of the page. And we can use the placement options to determine the offset from the different margins. So if we, for example, change these a little bit, then we can put it up in the top corner of the document if we want. And then we can uh, bring the opacity down a little bit. And we've got a nice watermark. And then we can add it as a background to the document if you want to have it in the background, which will be there when people look for it. Or we can have it just in the foreground, like a standard watermark. And the last options are simply the page range options, so we can add them to all of the current page or specify a page range or a subset of pages. So for example, we can do odd pages only. And once all of the settings have been determined as you want them to be, just click OK and the watermarks will be added to the document. So that's it for today. I hope you found this tutorial instructive and I'll see you next time.